Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So let's get to it. If you watch this channel often, then you know that I love well-built metal camera equipment. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I own Leica cameras. And that could be why Seven Artisans reached out to me and asked me if I would use their 35mm 1.4 M mount lens and let you know what I think about it. And here it is. <laughs> now, I know other, uh, others have reviewed this lens some time ago and I'm kind of a bit late to, to, to reviewing it. And I'm sorry I'm late, but you, you know, it, it's just one of those things really, you know, that I don't kind of get equipment as soon as it comes out sometimes. And those reviews I've noticed they're, they're kind of pixel peep and tell you any imperfections as if they're bad things. And if you wanted modern clinical lenses, then I guess that's the type of re review that you would want. But, you know, it's not really kind of, you know, why people buy these lenses. But let's get kind of some of these technical bits out the way. So it's a pretty small lens. Um, it's it was it was nicely packaged in this this box here and it comes with this lovely little pouch to keep the lens in when you're not using it which brings me to the fact that this lens has never been off this camera ever since i've actually got it i've used it for portrait street photography nights out and even weddings so you know I, I, I'm, I'm kind of bonding with it it seems that lens manufacturers can't really uh, they can't do right by photographers in how their aperture ring work aperture ring works photographers we want the clicks and you know videographers they don't want the clicks they want it all smooth Seven Artisans have gone somewhere in between, uh, so it's got a slight click to it for us photographers, but for videographers, you can easily go from stop to stop, uh, you know, without having to push through hard clicks. And that's fine with me. The focus ring is, uh, the focus ring is lovely and smooth. I've managed to be able to get pinpoint accuracy w with the focusing. Um, the, it's, it comes with a, you know, like the, the a lens hood that, 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 that comes out and goes back in again, which, do you know what, I know, I know that some people have complained about this um, in their review videos, but I, I couldn't care less. Um, it, I've never had a, a lens where it, the lens hood comes out, never mind one that locks into place, so I'm not bothered by that at all. But I think... Um, what we kind of really need to think about is why do people buy these types of lenses in the first place? For a Leica M mount uh, user, you know, for an, an M camera user, it's probably simply just a, a cheaper alternative than the more expensive Leica lenses, which brings me to the price. This lens costs around £389. The equivalent Leica lens is costing between three and a half thousand to four and a half thousand pounds. So there's a reason there to buy one of these lenses. But look, you probably know all this and how I like to use this lens is with an M mount adapter on my Leica SL. Now compared to the alternative L mount autofocus 35 millimeter lenses from Leica or say Sigma, I mean, this is tiny compared to those options, and that, that's important. That, that sort of size is better for going under the radar for street photography, and it's unobtrusive for portraits and events and weddings. But I think the real plus uh, for why mirrorless cameras by these vintage style lenses is because modern lenses usually, usually lack any character to how the images turn out. And let's face it, it's all about the, the photographs at the end of the day. These are manual focus. 
So you feel more part of the process rather than your camera doing all the work for you. You, you only ever really have yourself to blame if, if something's out of focus. And of course that means there's more chance of those happy accidents happening that we so admire whenever we look at some of the old masters uh, of photography. I think this lens, to me, it's got all the character of a vintage lens, but it's, it, it is also sharp, wide open. I, I could shoot 1.4 on this all day long and it's sharp. There's that vintage fall off wide open and there's some vignetting. As you'd expect from vintage type lenses, the bokeh has character without being distracting. It's not like quite swirly bokeh, but it, there is some kind of movement to it. For monochrome shooters, that means, you know, uh, any chromic aberrations or anything like that means nothing. There is some sometimes on that lens, but nothing really that bad. And anyway, these are all things that you expect with these type of lenses. You're buying it to get away from that clinical perfect nothingness of modern lenses. You, you're an artist um, and you want a brush that creates art that's not always predictable. That feels wonderfully organic and makes you see the world differently. I mean, that's the great thing about shooting uh, lenses like this and this, this lens uh, on mirrorless cameras is you can see the photograph before you even press the button, which is inspiring. And you get that warm, fuzzy feeling every time you look through the viewfinder. I think you can probably gather that I do love this lens. And to be honest, I've only just got started with it. It's, I mean, it's more than that. I, I love how it makes me see things. If you have any mirrorless camera and want a 35 millimeter fast lens to make art, then having one of these is it's a it's a no brainer to me. Look, it might seem that I'm I'm going overboard, but um, I had a similar feeling when I first got the Q2 Monochrome. It just made me look at things differently, and that's what's happening with this lens. I've used it a lot. Um, and it's going to be staying on my SL for quite some time, I think. And it just goes to show that not all great camera equipment costs a fortune. It's, it is, it's, I mean, it's gear, it's kit, you know, I know that can be boring, but it is enjoyable to use. And it's £389 that, you know, I mean, that could make you see things differently and, and start taking inspiring images. Enjoy these photographs that I'm going to show you. I've just I've just put a few on here just so that you can see maybe what I'm talking about. And let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that kind of thing that you're supposed to do. But more importantly, keep keep being inspired and show everyone how you see the world because none of us see it in the same way.